Before we get started, ladies and gentlemen, let me see all my subs spam them Cousin Drew emotes in chat right now, baby. Who we got in the house tonight? Let's go. Let's get them Cousin Drew emotes spammed ASAP and we're going to get it started. What's going on, Bark Dog? I see you. Mystic Whirlwind, how you doing? What's going on, everybody? Happy Thursday. Welcome back to Cousin Drew's Cooking Show, episode 33. Tonight, we're doing a little bit of Chinese food, guys. Super, super excited. What's going on, everybody? How you doing? Piling in nice and early. Good to see all you guys in here. Denver, missed you, my man. Bark Dog. How the streams going, brother? I've been stopping by as often as I can, but I've been a little bit busy lately. So uh, if you if you were streaming yesterday or the day before, I wasn't able to check it out. But uh, happy to see you in here, my guy. Look at that clean ass chef coat. Let's go, baby. Absolutely got that clean. Got my uh, North Ranch one on. What's going on, mom? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I went you know I went hatless tonight, rocking the hair. It was looking good today. Your boy did good on the hair. Good to see you all. Good to see you all. Well, welcome back to the stream, guys. I'm happy to have everybody here. Uh, we've made, you know, tremendous amount of improvements for you guys. Got a little surprise for you guys during the after show tonight, as well as a little intermission um, slide, I guess you can call it, that Maxi made. Um, you know, got the house all cleaned up. Got got the stream looking good. Also, got uh, set up today as well was the backup computer that we're going to be using for this stream. Um, I got everything working on the computer. Um, will next stream, I guess, I'll have it up. The only thing I'm missing right now is the 50-foot uh, Ethernet cable to run down the house. So that's one thing I'm missing. Um, we'll be getting that. I got everything set up today when I got off work. So super excited to have that ready for next week. So like I said, guys, if, if, if a crash does occur during the stream, I'm very sorry. We're looking okay. Um, if we do crash during the um, intermission to the cousin... Drew and uh, GMO's chopping it up after like it did last week. We will be right back after, so just stick around. Um, by next week, though, once we get the new PC set up, there should be no more crashing. It's strictly this laptop needs some maintenance work, needs some some reinstallations and stuff like that. So you know, it's it's just gonna be it's gonna be a lot better once we get the new computer set up. So it's just a matter of a cord. What's going on, Shauna Bell? How you doing, baby? Wow. No, Gmo, you know the surprise. It's it's what we got up on the on the new screen for the uh, the chopping it up after show. So look, guys. Ooh, Jersey Mike sounds good. My mom hates Jersey Mike's, but I I love Jersey Mike's. Um, so what we're doing tonight, guys? We're gonna dig into a little bit of Chinese food, right? Uh, we got some chow mein, which I've never made before. We're doing chicken chow mein. It's gonna be my first time doing this. Um, gonna be cool doing it with you guys. So I I looked up some recipes. What's going on, babe? How you doing, Kaylee? I looked up some recipes, kind of. Got an idea of how to get down on it, throwing my own little twist into it as well. So, uh, you know, we're going to be doing up the chicken chow mein tonight. We're going to be doing a teriyaki beef as long as a vegetable fried rice. So I did vegetable fried rice and teriyaki beef for the first ever practice attempt episode at doing a cooking stream, which I don't even think any of you guys were there for. It was literally a spur of the moment trial run before we launched the first episode. Um, and that's what we did. We did this, but I'm adding the little chicken chow mein in tonight. So I'm looking excited. I love Asian cuisine. Um, I'm looking forward to cooking more of it. You know, Japanese, Chinese. Um, I love Thai. So I'm looking into learning and, and doing a lot more of that. So tonight will be kind of nice, like popping my little Asian cherry. Um, there we go. Yeah, we got, Max got the command up. We hit 400. Only Cousin Drew would know what I mean. Absolutely, Denver. Congratulations, my dog. I'm very, very proud of you, my guy. Keep grinding. Keep grinding. Ashlyn and Abby are watching with me tonight. What's going on, Ash? What's up, Ops? I miss you, girls. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a good night. Um, so what we're going to do, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. We got some prep we need to knock out. Um, we got the beef we need to marinate, pound out a little bit, marinade, make it nice and tender. We're actually going to do this thing that I saw that I'd never done before. I guess it's common um, with Chinese food. We're going to be taking our chicken and we're going to be coating it up with some baking soda and it's going to sit for like 10 minutes and I guess the baking soda like breaks down the protein and makes it a lot more tender and that's like when you get it at Chi like you know like at a Chinese spot and you have that really tender delicious chicken that kind of just goes in with the with the chow mein. That's how it's going to turn out. So I'm super stoked never done that before. Watching from Newport. Thanks Auntie. I appreciate it. Thank you. Jealousy doesn't look cute on you. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. All right, guys. So look, we got some we got some things we got to knock out. I'm excited to get started. I'm using ingredients and items that I may have not used before. So it's going to be fun learning experience for all of us tonight. What's going on, Alex? How you doing, baby? Happy, happy to see you guys. All right, so look, let's get ready to prep. Let's get our beef pounded out, marinated, like get as much of a marination as we could possibly get on that to instill that flavor. Um, we'll get our chicken tossed up in that baking soda for about 10 minutes or so. Let it sit. We'll rinse it, dust it. Um, we got to chop up the veg for the stir fry. Um, we need to get our noodles cracking. I already got boiling water going. I just got to get it back to a boil. Already hit it once. We'll get our noodles cooked off. Once we get our noodles cooked off, we can go ahead and start the process for the chow mein. Um, sorry, I'm just kind of looking to make sure, you know, playing off my memory. We do need to get our rice going as well. That'll take about, you know, what? I got this crazy rice. Let's see how long it's going to take. It's called, it's, it's a medium grain um, Asian rice, a little cow rose rice, right? Like medium grain, not super small. It says it takes about... 20 minutes or so so we can get the rice cooked up uh, we'll get that going let it chill um, it does want it to soak so let's go ahead and soak the rice I've never used this brand of rice before so I'm excited a little learning for all of us so how's everyone doing tonight happy Thursday guys happy to see you guys all in here hope you're having a great day what's everyone got going on today what are you guys having for dinner Buy a rice maker, Drew. Yeah, I'm planning on it. Once I get that that check at the end of the uh, at the beginning of this next month from February, I was gonna go. Actually, since I make rice so often, I was planning on getting a rice cooker, so I don't even have to worry about it. I'm off tomorrow. Better be. We better be gaming tonight. Yeah, I'll be on for a little minute for a minute tonight. That's for sure. Oh, well, you know what? I should probably not pour it straight in there. I should probably measure it first. Might be a good idea. Okay. So, and we only need a cup and a half for me and G. So we're gonna do a cup, a, a cup and a half of rice. We're gonna soak it up. It says let it soak, so we'll let it do its thing. Got about a cup and a half, a little more, a little less. So we're just gonna let that soak. It says let it soak for 10 minutes. All right. Rice is soaking. So those of you guys that are just stopping by, uh, didn't catch the intro, uh, I did play um, the new song that we had made for the stream by my boy Blake, Walla Beats. I was playing it during the intro, I'm gonna play it during the outro as well. I'll even turn it on for you guys during the little intermission when we set up the after show tonight, uh, so you guys can hear it. I just figured, you know, why not? Like, while I'm working on the video, at least let you guys hear the song. It's really nice and cool. Put it on a little a little re repeat. Maybe gold medal foods can help you with that, Drew, right? Hate cooking rice. It's a pain. Yeah, it can be a pain. Having a rice cooker is definitely nice. You know what I'm saying? Rice cooked in chicken broth. Yep, that's how we do the uh, the risotto and the, um, the pilaf, right? Minute rice, yeah. There, I, I, you know, I could cheat and get the minute rice, but I want to get this Asian rice, keep it authentic. You know what I'm saying? I like trying new things, so you know, we'll get it crack a lack and yeah, wall of beats. I did get this sweet ass kitchen sink colander that sits up and expands to your sink. Cause you guys know how I always have to like, look at that, just sits and chills, right? You guys know how I always have to sit there and like use one hand to pour and hold the strainer. It's a complete, complete pain in the ass. Pops gifting the sub over to Auntie Jen. Thank you very much for the gifted sub. Auntie Jen, welcome to the family tree. Thank you very much for the gifted sub. I appreciate it. That's number 16 for you, Pops. Good shit. I heard adding tomato to the rice cooker when it cooks is good. Yeah, then you're making like Spanish rice. All right, so what we're we doing? We got beef. Well, while our rice chills, we'll go ahead and get our, get our beef tenderized. I did buy the uh, trimmed, ready to go chicken. It's already chopped up and nice, ready to rock. All we're gonna do is toss it. We do got our delicious beef tenderloin. I'm gonna go ahead and pound it out a little bit, guys. Um, mainly because I want it a little bit more tender. It is kind of a, a thicker cut as far as the beef goes. And I want it to be nice and tender, right, for the teriyaki. We're gonna slice it up, have a nice little sauce for it, but I do want it to be nice and tender, darn it. I hate when it comes out all uneven. 
Let's get our beef opened up. I did get this cutting board on a new uh, on a new little tripod setup, so I'm still kind of adjusting a little bit. Cleaned up the whole streaming area. The house looks like an actual house again, not a studio. Hey, Bark Dog coming through, dropping the 50 biddies. I appreciate it very, very much. Velvet meats, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you very much for the uh, the bits, Bark Dog. I appreciate that, brother. Appreciate it very, very much. All right, so we got our meat laid out. I'm gonna grab some plastico, get it covered up, so we don't get the mallet all dirty. All right, so let's go ahead, take the meat. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the microphone volume down real quick, guys, while I pound it out. Give me a sec. No, we stay pounding the meat though. So it's got that all pounded out, nice and tenderized, right? All right, nice and even, right? I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I transition screens now, it's gonna shoot up, got a new little transition. Figured I'd change it up a tad bit. So now we got our tenderloin nice and tenderized, right, with the, with the mallet. Put that away, we're gonna get this baby marinating. Marinating nation. Longer the better. We've got a little bowl. Throw this baby in. Toss it in with the paper so I don't get the hands all dirty. So I can go ahead and grab my my stuff to marinate. All right. Beat that meat. Garrett loves when you pound your meat. What's up, Alec? How you doing? That great evil pound town. You know it. <laughs> I thought Drew was left-handed. Holy shit, Alex. I like it when I hear it. Garrett's sweating right now. He's ambidextrous, so talented. Holy shit, Drew looking slick as hell tonight. You know what's good, baby? What's good? Had to look good for you, the great evil. Keep you coming. What's going on? How you doing tonight, brother? All right, so we got our meat We're going to grab a couple couple deals right here as far as as far as far seasonings to get this, uh, this baby marinated. So I'm going to grab my soy sauce, my teriyaki. We're going to grab a little bit of... A little bit of oyster sauce, you know, we're going crazy. And we're gonna grab a little, a little hoisin. Sweeten that baby up, okay? And let's grab some garlic. Some fresh cloves of garlic in there. Smash. All right. The heck did I just read? <laughs> Absolutely. What's up, Maxi? What's up, baby? What's going on? And everyone's in here. I'm very, very happy to have all you guys here tonight. Hope everyone's having a great Thursday. Tell me about your night, your day, guys. What's going on? What y'all eating right now? How was work? What's good with you guys? All right, so we're just gonna we're gonna smash a couple cloves of garlic. Right, want to get a couple cloves on each side. Get that nice garlicky aroma on the meat and the marination. All right, so we got the garlic all pounded out. We're gonna take a little bit of sir sauce. Oh, you know what, let me do this first. Let me get some pep on there. Let's open up the little pepper, pepper grinder. Fresh pep on there. Oh, we need our Worcestershire too, I almost forgot. All right, let's grab our Worcestershire. All right, so, a little Worcestershire in there. Okay. Soy sauce instead of salt, right? Nice and salty. So we got some soy sauce down. We're gonna grab a little teriyaki, right? For our teriyaki beef. We're gonna get our teriyaki sauce in there. Go ahead and get some oyster sauce in there. Some, 
<laughs> Some sergers, absolutely pops. Let's get our oyster sauce, nice and thick. Slim thick. All right, lastly, get a spoon. And we're add a little bit of poison. Nice, nice sweet aroma to it. All right. We're gonna be using a lot of these same ingredients a little bit later on tonight as well. I'm gonna go ahead and move these back to their, their spots. Then we're gonna go ahead and get this, uh, Throw a couple cloves of garlic in there. Right? We got everything kind of mixing around. We're gonna go ahead and toss the beef over. We'll grab some pepper, my clean hand. Right. So I'm just kind of mixing all the, uh, the sauces together underneath the steak. We're just gonna get it nice and chilling, right? So now we're spread and even. Time to wash up. Gotta right, stay sanitary, guys. Wash them hands. I always stress on it. Wash them, wash them, wash them. All right. Perfect. So we got our meat straight chilling. Uh, how's it going, Lair? Keep chopping it up. Keep chopping it up. Love to see my people in here. Love to see the community going. Just got home. Made some seared ahi. Ooh, where's my picture, Max? Where's my picture at, though? All right, so let's go ahead and get this covered up. A little bit of plastic. We're going to throw this in the, in the fridge, let it chill. We'll take it out about 10, 10 minutes or so before. Let it get to room temp. It'll help it cook a little bit faster. A little trick, guys, when you're cooking protein. Take it out of the fridge a little bit before you're going to cook it. Help let it come to room temperature. And obviously, it's going to cook faster because it's not as cold. Let's start. So we got our meat marinating, right? On to the next one. Let's get our chicken, you know, tossed up with our bacon soda. hope I have bacon soda. thought I did. Yeah, I got it. All right. So... What I was told is you toss your, your, your meat with the, uh, with the baking soda and then you wash it off after, obviously, but you, you toss it and it helps break down the proteins and tenderize it, which is pretty interesting. So we're going to grab our chicken. All right. Add some baking soda, baking soda, baking the soda. I'm gonna get that little, little toss around. Incorporate it. A little bit of plastic in there. All right, so chicken's all mixed in. We're gonna let this sit for like 10 minutes, it said. And then we're gonna wash it off. Apparently it helps break down the protein. Never heard of it before in my life. Going with it. All right, so chicken, straight chilling. So we got our rice soaked, about to be done being soaked. We can get that crack of whack in. I always keep my baking soda in the fridge, guys. A little, little tip, keep the baking soda in the fridge. Keep it smelling good and fresh. Obviously, if you have something expiring and stuff like that, and it starts to smell over the baking soda, you know it's time to time to throw it, or there's something rotten in your fridge. Go ahead and just keep that in the fridge. Woo! Some hot water. My lord. I'll never forget when I burnt myself over here, and then I went to go run it under cold water for a second, and it, I turned on the water, and it was like boiling hot. It's like the worst thing ever. All right, so we got... Beef in the fridge, chicken's doing its thing, rice is doing its thing. We can start our prep, get everything prepped out and ready, and then we're going to move on to uh, getting the, the stir fry and everything down, right? So let's grab our little cups. I kind of want to get that rice going ASAP, low key. I have never heard of that. 
You're talking about the baking soda? Yeah, I've never heard of that either, but I, I read about it today. Apparently it helps break down the protein, so it's pretty interesting. Yulia25, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. All right, so let's go ahead and just get our rice cracking. We got it. It was just sitting soaking. Let me get my strainer. I'm going to use this hand strainer for the rice right now. Save the other one. This rice, for a cup and a half of rice, I believe it was what? Where's that box? It's two cups of water to one and a half, one and a half cups of rice. This kind of rice, all right? So we're gonna get this transferred over. I've used cornstarch before on the chicken when making Asian dishes. Never tried baking soda. Yeah, I got the, uh, I got cornstarch over. We're gonna be using cornstarch tonight. I've never used cornstarch before, actually, um, in my stream. I've used it at the, the, uh, the country club a little bit, but I was always trained to make roux and stuff for my thickeners, so never, uh, never done that. All right, so let's get our rice. Transfer it over. I'm gonna grab a little spatula so I can scrape the rest of it into the, uh, into the pot. So we got all the rice scooped out. We're gonna add a couple cups of water. If you use baking soda, you don't have to wash your hands. Eh, still gonna wash them after touching all that, that chicken. Break down the protein basically means that you are, um, like when you tenderize it, Ma, and you, you, you beat it down, that's breaking down the protein. It's, it's helping tenderize the meat. That's all it's doing, it's tenderizing it. A little bit under. All right, we got two cups of water for our rice. off from all that, that garlic that I, uh, that I pressed on it, guys. We're going to go ahead and get our, our prep done for our, our um, fried rice. And for our chow mein, we need to go ahead and get you know, a good amount of veggies prepped up, ready to rock, that we're going to throw into the little stir fry action. I'm going to just kind of get these out the way as well, keep it nice and clean and sanitary. Like I said, it helps me later on when I can clean as I go a little bit. So I'm just trying to get a little bit better about it because I hate getting stuck with a, you know, a shit ton of dishes at the end of the night. So it just kind of helps me. I just want to make it a good habit, which all of you guys should do as well. Make it a good habit. Start cleaning as you go. It really helps at the end. What's going on, Rob? How you doing, cuzzo? Sanitation pinky staying strong. We need some Daisy. Let's get some Daisy. Daisy, come on. People are here to see you. Come on. Come here. You want a treat? Come on. Oh, can you even get your little, your little area set up, huh? Yeah. Hi. You want a treat, sweetie? You all crazy right now? Say hi to everybody. Yeah, you say hi. Easy. Easy. Eat your first one, and then you can move on to your second. There's your little daisy cam for the girl. Wash the hands off real quick. Y'all done? All right, she all done. She's ready to rock. No worries. Hey, what's up, Bob? How you doing, dude? What's going on, my brother? Yeah, if someone could please clip that little little daisy cam, I'd appreciate it. Pops needs it done. All right, guys, so I'm just going to go ahead, go to the fridge, start gathering all my stuff, right? Um, you know what? Let's make our sauce real quick. So I have some measurements written down how I'm gonna do my sauce. 
for the um, for the uh, the chow mein sauce, right? We're also gonna use a little bit of it to marinate the chicken as soon as I wash it off and get it done. So let me go ahead and grab that stuff real quick. We're using oyster sauce, mirin, sugar, cornstarch, soy sauce. This isn't open. Oh, wait, yeah, it is. Oyster sauce. Need a little bowl, which I got right here. Sugar. There we go, got the clip. Hey, Chef Dog, what's going on, brother? How you doing, my guy? Thanks for stopping by. Everyone, welcome Chef Dog. Welcome Bob back to the stream. It's been a minute. Welcome everybody. Thanks for stopping by the stream, guys. I appreciate it. All right, so we're going to be using our, our corn starch, which, like I said, is something that I don't normally use. Need my teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. There's my full teaspoon. There we go. Got a little plastic one. I got a bunch of different ones down there. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our cornstarch, right? So when you're using cornstarch, it's important you have to um, dissolve it into some sort of liquid. If you don't dissolve it into some sort of liquid, you're gonna have all these clumps. Usually cornstarch is used in a thickener. You can do it in a slurry cold, or you can add it into something hot as well. But it needs to already be mixed into something water. You know what I mean? We're gonna, in this case, we're gonna be mixing it into the soy sauce, but you gotta dissolve it down or else it's gonna cause clumps, all right? So just a little tip. Hey, MRM, my guy. What's up, what's up? Let's go ahead and throw the banner up. I always, you know, wait for my guy to pop in and we can get the banner crack a lacking, you know what I'm saying? What's going on, my guy? How you doing, MRM? Welcome back. Again, thank you so much for uh, last stream, my guy. Your, you know, your donations are more than, uh, more than appreciated, my guy. So, you know, welcome everybody. Let me see them cousin Drew emotes in chat for our boy MRM right now. Welcome our guy in. So we're doing two teaspoons of uh, cornstarch. So we got our cornstarch in. So it says to bring the rice on the bag, and I'm going with this different kind of rice that I've never cooked before. So. Um, bring it to a soft boil, then reduce it low and let it simmer for 20 minutes. So it's coming to a soft boil. So let's go ahead and grab a lid for this guy. And then we'll turn it down low. And let it, let it simmer and do its thing. It says 20 minutes. It's 733, so about 753. Someone shoot a reminder out to your boy. And let him know that he's, it's time to do Wait, what did I do last stream? Uh, look at the top of the chat, MRM, and that's exactly what you did last stream, dog. All right, so we need one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce. One and a half. Tablespoons of soy sauce. Nice, woo. <laughs> Jesus. I gotta lay off the shrooms. Man, some strong ass shrooms, dog. You're, you're quite the spender when you're doing shrooms, my guy. Drew is Chef Jesus. I appreciate that, my guy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we got our, um, our soy sauce mixed in with our starch. That's what I meant by mixing it so there's no clumps is you just kind of work it into your liquid get it all in there and make sure that it doesn't clump up you want to dissolve all the all the cornstarch in right so we got it all mixed in so now we are adding a one and a half tablespoons of our oyster sauce one and a half tablespoons of mirin you know what i need to do grab a napkin put these down on all right so let's go ahead and grab our mirin do one and a half uh, one and a half tablespoons I don't want to mess it up because the sauce should be perfect with its measurements all right so mirin is like a white 
sweet cooking uh, vinegar. It's super bomb. You can sub it in instead of using like sake and stuff like that. It's just a lot sweeter. It's not as harsh as a normal vinegar, but it's super delicious and it's seasoned with salt. So it does add a little bit of seasoning to whatever you're using. Here with the girls, I got no school tomorrow. Hey, no school. That's what's up. No, not we are using sesame oil. Calm down, Alex. But this is this is mirin, not sesame oil. Jesus, how stoned are you right now, Alex? My lord, one and a half tablespoons of our oyster sauce. So oyster sauce comes out a lot thicker, guys. You can tell by the consistency. See that? One and a half. So I'm gonna almost go up to two since it doesn't all come out of the, the spoon. You know what I'm saying? should be like about one and a half. I'm gonna go ahead and give our rice a little bit of a, a stir. So we got our, our oyster sauce in there. I'm gonna scrape the rest with my finger. Get that out of there. It's not so great by itself, the oyster sauce, but it's, it's pretty good. It's got like a really fishy, fishy um, aftertaste to it. Almost like if you had shrimp paste before, super disgusting. But when you mix it in, it's super, super bomb. Hey, Dilly D, what's going on, my man? Dead Element, what's up, my guy? How you doing? What's going on, guys? Welcome, welcome, everybody. Quite, welcome to the party, huh? All right, and then one, uh, one teaspoon of sugar. Sugar, sugar. Sweeten it up a tad bit. All right. You guys want to see Daisy again? Packing a bowl to MRM, absolutely. Come on, Daisy. Come on, treats. Girl, want some treats? Yeah, we, we're, we're bumping back to action. MRM's in the house. Say hi to Uncle Al and MRM and everyone that joined in, Dead Element. Hey, high five. Oh, that's my girl. Easy. Here, let's do this. Stay. 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 Get it. Oh, uh, you don't want to catch it? Say hi to everybody here. We'll give you one more. And then you got to chill for a minute off these treats, girl. Let me get your ass fat real quick. You guys need a little bit of daisy action real quick. I'm going to wash these little... These, uh, utensils that I was using to weigh out, my little measuring cups off real quick. Will you guys catch the girl doing her thing? Say hi to everybody, Days. I do have a new alert to go catch up with, and I will be right over. Promise. Are those real fire logs? Maybe when you're on shrooms. No, that's a fake, fake fire. No, they're not Daisy emotes, but they look just like her. All right, guys, we're back. Daisy knew it was time to bounce. <laughs> Oh, oh! you know what? We are throwing a little bit of sesame oil in this. Alex, I lied to you, guy. So I got this, this, uh, this here sesame oil. I did lie to you, Alex. We are using it. What is it? Half of a teaspoon? I know I got that in here. I lied. All right, a little sesame oil for you. Oh, I love that smell. You guys that are sesame oil lovers, the smell of sesame oil, whoo, nice and toasty, so bomb, so bomb. A little pinch of pepper, all right? Let's get that pepper in there. What the hell is going on right now? Oh my goodness gracious, are you serious right now? Janelle, coming through with a raid with a party of 49, are you serious right now? Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Well, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Janelle, thank you so much. Are you serious? Holy cow. What's going on everybody? Welcome to the stream. Janelle, thank you so much for the, uh, the host. Are you serious? Holy cow. Everybody, welcome in our new friends from Janelle's stream. Those of you guys that are in the stream right now that haven't had a chance to go follow and check out our girl Janelle. She does awesome IRL streams. She also gets down on some Mario Kart. She does a baking stream once a month. She kicks ass. Her stream's really, really cool. Um, get some Cousin Drew emotes for everybody that's into the stream right now. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Janelle, what's going on, girl? Thank you so much. Had a good time. I had the stream on my laptop when I was setting everything up earlier. So I had, you know, I watched for a good amount of time. I saw you get hit with all them raids and everything. 
Uh, I'm very happy for you that you had a really awesome stream today. It was good. It was good fun. Everybody, welcome Janelle. Hey, the great evil coming through with a hundred biddies. Thank you so much, evil. I appreciate that, my guy. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Jim sixty eight olds has followed. Thank you very much. Doom Night Fury. Thank you very much for the follow. Uh, Skip these nuts fifty four. What's going on? Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much for the follows, guys. So what we got going on tonight, guys? Is we got our uh, is we got beef teriyaki marinating right now in the fridge. We got our chicken, which we're about to wash up. That's mixed up with some baking soda that we're gonna be throwing in our chow mein. Right now, I'm making our chow mein sauce that we're also gonna marinate that chicken in as well. It's gonna be super, super bomb. Um, we got our rice going for our fried rice. It, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good little meal we got going tonight. I'm new to the you know the whole cooking Asian food, so it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be really fun. It was crazy, and I'm super happy for you. What's going on, guys? Welcome everybody. Thank you guys so much for the follows. Seriously, thank you, thank you guys so much. Um, Hope you had a great time at Janelle's stream tonight. I had a blast earlier. It was great. It was super, super great. What's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we got our little sauce crackalacking right here. Hey, Pop's coming through with the 100 bitties. Thank you very much for the bits. I appreciate it. So we just mixed up some cornstarch with some soy sauce, some oyster sauce, a little bit of mirin, which is like a white wine vinegar, an Asian white wine vinegar. We got a teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of sesame oil, and a pinch of pepper thrown in there, right? So we got our little sauce made. We're going to let that chill. Um, we need to go ahead and wash our chicken off, guys. So we're just going to take our, our strainer. We're going to dump our chicken in there. We're going to wash this off, get all the baking soda you know, off the, uh, off the chicken. And then we're going to go ahead and give it a little marinade. Welcome, everybody. And again, thank you so much, Janelle. I, I, I really do appreciate it very, very much. Thank you for the, uh, for the raid. Super, super generous of you doing that. So I'm just giving the chicken a nice little rinse. Make sure we get all the baking soda thrown off it. Right? All I did with the baking soda was break down the proteins in the chicken, help tenderize it a little bit. All right. I'm going to wash the hands real quick, guys. Always keep, keep the sanitation going, guys, when you're working with that poultry. You know what I'm saying? Keep your hands clean. You don't want to cross contaminate. You don't want to get anyone sick. Super, super important. All right. I'm going to catch up with the notifications real quick, guys. Just need to give that a nice little rinse. We're going to check on our rice as well. Hey, 400 bits. Thank you very much, Pops. I appreciate that. Cook with Hannah. Welcome. Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it very, very much. Let's check our rice out. We're looking good. Looks like it's absorbed all of our liquid. Let's go ahead and give it a little test. Almost there. Almost there. We need a little bit more time. Just a tad bit more time. Almost there. MRM, Lair Dog and Beast Mode? Absolutely. Hey, Sanchi, what's going on? Welcome back, my man. How you doing tonight? Appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Um, so we are going to go ahead and get started. We're going to get our chicken marinated with a little bit of our chow mein sauce. It's going to be ready to go to throw into the chow mein. We're going to go ahead and get our um, water back up um, to a boil in just a minute after we get our veggies prepped up. We need to get everything prepped up and ready to throw into our stir fry. It's going to come out real, real good. Keaton MC1 coming through with the follow. Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you. All right, so look, we're going to get our chicken completely, you know, drained off all the liquid. We're going to put it in. Get some paper towels rolling in there real quick. So when you marinate, you don't want you know a bunch of water. You don't want your protein super liquidated. It's not gonna you know hold the marination you know quite to itself like it normally would. So just make sure you get the the protein kind of dried off a little bit. Just patting it with paper towels. No big deal, guys. Nice and easy. The chicken cracking. We're gonna go ahead and get our bowl. Get our chicken in there. We'll move it over here for you guys. All right. All right. Hey, Cook with Hannah coming through with the 10 biddies. Thank you very much, Hannah. I appreciate that greatly. Thank you very much and welcome. Like I said, welcome, welcome, guys. Appreciate it. So, we're going to go ahead and drop, you know, a little pepper in there. Season it up a little bit. We don't need to add any salt, guys, because we got plenty of salt with the seasoning that we just made as far as our little uh, little sauce. 
So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a tablespoon, about a tablespoon or so of our sauce, right? And we're going to dump it into our chicken and kind of just let this sit and chill and marinate in our sauce to develop a little bit of that flavor that we're going to grow in from the sauce from the, uh, from the chow mein. All right, so we're going to let that marinate, absorb some of that, that flavor, let it sit and do its thing, let it come to room temp since it was chilling. All right, and that'll be ready to rock. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to set that off to the side. Got my dirty chicken items, so we'll go ahead and wash those off in a bit. I'm going to check back into my rice, guys. It's just about there. I'm just kind of holding it around. Rice is super bomb. Never used this rice before. It's like the sticky um, Asian cow rose grain. Nice and medium sized grain. Nice and sticky and shiny. It's going to look really good in a fried rice. I'm super, super stoked. Hannah, thank you very much for the host. I appreciate that. Rice is pretty much there. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat. Turn off the heat. Leave the lid on. Let it kind of carry over. Give that a little bit of a rinse. Get that stickiness off of there. Alright. So let's get our veggies prepared, guys. We got lots of prep ahead of us. So we're going to knock out real quick. Let the sauce chill out up here. Hey, cool it coming through. What's up, Al? Thank you very much for the 500 bitties. I appreciate that very, very much. Thank you so much. You guys are you dropping them bits like crazy tonight. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate that. Let it know. Currently making fish tacos. Hey, chef dog, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Sounds good. All right, guys, so let's get cracking. We got we got some ingredients to chop up. We got some carrot. We got some bok choy. We got some green onion. Right. The rest of the veggies for the. Uh, for the fried rice are super simple. They're frozen, chopped up veggies. We're just gonna liquidate, get them, get them defrosted, and toss those in as we go. We do got a couple heads of baby bok choy, guys. I don't know if you guys have ever messed with bok choy. We've used it on the stream one time, but oh my gosh, the flavor out of these are absolutely amazing. Love me some bok choy. We got some scallion. We're gonna be using the bottom ends of the scallions and a little bit of the tops as well in our um, fried rice and our chow mein. Then we got some carrot that we're gonna julienne up. You can't have chow mein without, you know, a little bit of carrot in it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Hannah, you stream. Okay, okay. I'm going to come check it out, girl. I didn't know that. Very cool. I'm going to definitely check you out. I'm going to go ahead and drop you a follow after the stream. Very nice to know. Love supporting fellow uh, fellow Twitch chefs. I'm out here to leech. Just want to meet someone new. No, absolutely, Hannah. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Welcome, welcome. It's a it's a you know a support networking game with us Twitch chefs. So don't even worry about it, man. Everyone, go ahead and drop Hannah a follow. Check the girl out. You know what I'm saying? Support all the all the cooks on on Twitch. It's amazing. We got to be here to support each other, right? Yeah, Jackie. Hey, what's up, Jack? What's up, Cuzzo? How you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, the host thing's working. It's still a little bit small, but I, I got to figure out what the hell is doing that. Love green onions. Can't go wrong with green. No, absolutely. They're delicious. I love 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 green onions. So let's go ahead and get our. Uh, our carrots peeled up real quick, guys. Just real quick, get that musky skin off. I didn't get any organic carrots or anything this time. It's just, you know, a nice little julienne for the chow mein. It doesn't matter. We just need a, a nice size carrot to get our, our julienne going. So we're just gonna get these babies peeled up real quick, guys. All right, looks like we're ready to rock. Get our uh, carrot shavings away from the board. All right, so let's go ahead and get some of these babies chopped up. So we're going to do our carrots first, guys. We are going to do a nice little julienne cut. All right? Julienne is an eighth-inch cut. So we're going to go ahead and square our carrot off. All right? You don't want to waste too much. So you just want to get a nice little square off. Don't waste too much product, all right? Don't waste too much. But make sure it's nice and, nice and, nice and square for the most part. All right, there we go. We got a nice little square happening right there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and make our little little julienne pallets here. I don't even think we're going to need both these carrots. So I got my little my little equal shells, right? So all we're going to do, guys, I got all this shit in the way. Let me move that out. Out the way real quick. All right, rice should be good. I'm going to go ahead also and turn on my water. 
uh, back to a uh, high heat, get the boil going so we can get our noodles cooked off. All right, so we're just gonna do a nice little julienne, guys. All right? Nice thin cut on our carrot. Uh, just so you guys know, all you newcomers, um, we've been doing the show for, you know, uh, 33 episodes, as you guys see by the title. Um, as far as three to four weeks ago, we did implement a little bit of a, um, an after show, so call it. Uh, basically, what we do is we're going to plate up the meal, right? We're going to plate it up like we always do. And then what we do is I'm going to put on a little intermission with a little bit of music for you guys, keep you guys nice and cozy. And then we're going to transition over. And my producer, my boy, my mod Gmo is going to come out like my, you know, my, my fellow family tree members know. And we come out, we shift the cameras over into our little living area over here. And we do a little bit of chopping it up with Cousin Drew and Gmo after show. We eat the dish. We question it. We answer questions. We, we get a little bit more personal with you guys as we eat. You know, you guys, we talk about the dish and everything like that. So if you guys got time, you know, and you, you, you want to stick around, we do do the after show after we run that for about 10, 15 minutes, depending on how much interaction we got. We can go a little bit longer. So just, you know, throwing that out there to all you newcomers. We do the cooking show, and then we transfer over to a little after show, and then it's gravy. So back to the prep. So we got our carrots chopped up. Looks like we're not even going to need the other carrot. So we're going to go ahead and save this for a rainy day. We'll get the, this one chopped up in a second. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get a, a couple more julienne cuts out of my carrots here. Perfecto. Those ends are a little thick. Save those. All right. That honestly might be enough carrot for the chow mein. If we need to cut some more up at the end, we'll go ahead and do so. Drew, let's have a petite de bueno. Oh my gosh. I love you, Great Evil. The after show is purely GMO eye candy. Absolutely. Gives you a chance to kind of kick back, you know, check it out. All right, so we got our carrots chopped up. Let's get our green onion crack a lack in. So we are going to use the um, the root end, actually, in this. The root end, it uh, typically, they're a little bit bitter, but in the Asian cooking, it, it just tends to pair with the dish really nicely. The French ass name, even I can't get you. <laughs> there needs to be a GMO head profile view with mouth wide open, bottom up the screen. So when you food, oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Please just move to Nashville and cook for me. Uh, I love cooking, cook for everybody. I love, I love pleasing with my food, that's for damn sure. All right, guys, so like I said, we're doing root end. We're gonna get some nice, nice thin sliced scallion from the root end, and we'll work up. We are going to use the top as well, but we're going to implement the uh, the root end first, and we're going to kind of cook that down. It's going to kind of take you know a little bit of the bitterness away. All right, we shaved down a good amount right there. All right, so let's flip around. I'm going to even these out real quick, get the big big loops out the way way, and then we're going to have our I'm going to separate these in two cups, all right? So we're going to have our, our root end in one cup because we're going to be throwing that into the saute early. And then we're going to be throwing our tops, which are a little bit, you know, are not nearly as bitter. They're, they're very nice, just very lightly cooked. So we're going to keep the tops in a separate one. And we're going to add that in right at the end for some garnish, right? All right, so we got our very thin shaved scallion. All right, so let's get these in our in our cup, uh, guys. Just as a heads up, you know, while I'm doing my thing, you know, I'm trying to keep up with chat as much as possible. There's a lot of guys in there tonight, so if I do miss, you know, some sort of question or anything like that, go ahead and you know, in the after show, shoot it back at me. That's why we kind of do it. It allows me to have a chance to really, you know, communicate with you guys and really sit down and answer your questions in depth. Well, not while I'm kind of running around multitasking. So, you know, keep that in mind. If you guys are planning on sticking around, you have any questions, definitely be a, a good time in case I do miss it. In case I do. All right. So let's go ahead and get our couple of our items out the way. Our leftover items. We do got some bean sprouts we're going to be throwing in there. So the bok choy, we're going to go ahead and break down because we're going to fold that in. It's going to work almost like 
like cabbage or something like that, right? It's gonna wilt a little bit. So we're gonna take our bok choy and I cut the leaves off. So I'm just gonna do some, some rough chops amongst the leaves because those are gonna kind of wilt in and flavor it up. Pretty nice. Maybe we'll do the other one just in case because I know that when they wilt, they tend to shrink. So might as well just do both. More is more the merrier. All right, we'll go ahead and get one little slice. All right, so we got all our bok choy right here. Guys and girls, it's 2018. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Gotta be politically correct. No one's allowed to have an opinion nowadays. You're right, you're right. You're right. Are you assuming my gender right now, Garrett? Is that what's going on? Bok motherfucking choy. MRM, you know about bok choy, my guy? I'm telling you, bok choy is one of the most underrated vegetables as far as people new to cooking. If y'all can get your hands on some bok choy, I'm telling you, it's one of the best. I, you can saute it. You can roast it, right? Lay it out, cut it in half. The, the normal size bok choy is pretty big, but the baby bok choy like this, right? Little, but the big bok choy is big. Um, the babies, slice them in half, season them up, give them some oil, throw it in the oven, roast them. You can do them on the grill. I've grilled it. It came out super, super bomb. There's, it, it's very versatile. And the flavor is super, super good. All right, so it looks like our rice is just carried over and finished. We're looking good. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. So we know our rice is ready to rock. We got one thing we're going to do for the rice before we get started and start cooking everything off. Oh, we also got to get our beef cooked off. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to take our beef out of the fridge. I'll, go, I'll show you guys the marination that we got going on it for all y'all newcomers. All right, so our beef was just chilling. We did a little bit of marination earlier, guys. Andrew definitely gets upset, but I'm some, some, from so SoCal, what can I do? <laughs> need to be scolded oh lord kaylee what's going on drew makes the best bok choy yeah mama's had bok my bok choy in multiple ways multiple ways oh that's awesome pops yeah you showing the girls they'll love that they'll love janelle singing and stuff like that so here's our little our our, our teriyaki marinade right so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get that that toasted off guys we got the uh we're gonna get the burner going for that we do got to make a teriyaki sauce as well, which we will do once everything is just about there. So I'm going to get like a medium flame. We're going to go ahead and warm that baby up. We're going to let this chill as that warms. Um, so we got our veg prepared. We need to get the rest of our veg out, guys. Um, we am going to go ahead and wash this stuff off real quick. Just give me a sec, guys. Go ahead and chop it up. Just going to get this, uh, all the stuff I used with the raw chicken cleaned off real quick. important to cook to kind of clean as you go guys it's just going to help you in the long run it makes for less less uh less junk around the kitchen when it comes time to cleaning up at the end you already got 90 percent of the dishes done so you know just clean as you go it's only going to help you i don't have a dishwasher so i wash everything by hand so that's kind of like you know that's one of the main reasons that i clean as i go because you know not having a dishwasher is rough I wash everything by hand. I get done with the stream. Last thing I want to do is sit here for you know 45 minutes washing dishes. So definitely helps clean as I go. All right, so we got everything rinsed off. We're gonna get our veggies out. Ah, they were loving it. You definitely know what's going on, boyfriend. Oh yeah, how's your Mario Kart, Kaylee? I know you were picking up the uh, the thing. You, you guys get down. Did you whip everyone's ass. You know, my girlfriend knows not to lose in video games. We are winners. I've told you that many, many times, girl. Many, many times. All right, so let's grab our veggies out the freezer. For the fried rice, you know, why not just buy the, the easy dollar bag of veggies? All I do is I just run them under hot water, kind of defrost them out a little bit, and they're ready to rock. Super simple, super easy. I get the asparagus, carrot, and corn for the fried rice. Um, 
it's perfect because you get like good sized chunks of the of the asparagus and everything, the corn, the um, the carrot, and then I do also add some broccoli florets in there. Super simple, super easy. Yeah, I was telling uh, Janelle, I was telling uh, Kaylee about you know the Mario Kart. We're gonna have to jump in and, and get in, get it in and uh, and race each other. Should be fun. Kaylee plays a lot more than I have. I'm yet to try it on the DS yet, so it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. All right, so we got our florets, guys. We're gonna add a couple florets in there. Let them kind of cook down as well. All right, so we got our florets down. So all I'm doing, guys, I'm gonna let hot water run. I'm just going to chill that out in hot water. We're running hot water through the veg. We're going to get our noodles cooked off, guys. We got our water back to a boil. We got these uh, Chinese chow mein noodles. Never worked with them before. Looking good, looking good. It'll never stop being fun, right? Just like the old days. Takes you back to the childhood of playing Mario uh, Kart on the, on the Nintendo. Hey, Alex. I forgot you had it too. Je um, so when Janelle streams, she does viewer games. When she plays Mario Kart, you, she gets you uh, like the info, and then you could jump in and race with her. So that's what I was just telling Kaylee about. So I got the noodles, guys. We're gonna go ahead and toss it in the water. Like I said, I've never used these noodles before, so it's gonna be a learning experience for all of us. So now I'm just kind of tossing the veg under the hot water. Make sure it's all getting hit. All right, so let's, let's go ahead and read about these noodles because I've never used them. Add one packet. Cover uncooked. Cook for five minutes. Stir occasionally. Drain and rinse in cold water. Wow, five minutes? That's it? Okay. What time is it? Eight? 807. So I'm going to run the, the spatula, or I'm sorry, the tongs through there. Make sure none of the noodles are sticking. Kind of disperse them so they all cook up. We got our pan all hot for our beef. Going to kind of let that chill. We got the beef kind of cooling down just a little bit more before we throw it on. Help it cook a little bit more evenly, right, when it's all room temp. Still undefeated in Super Smash 64. Uh, play my cousins, G, and, and see if you're undefeated anymore. My cousins are the gods of Smash. Blake's really good, too, as you know. All right, guys, so the veg is chilling. It's all defrosted for the most part, right? We got these big heads of broccoli, and I want to go ahead and chop them up real quick, get them, you know, evenly evenly sliced for the, for the rice. It's a little too big for me. So I'm just going to kind of... Slice the little broccoli heads in half, right? Make them a little bit smaller as they, they'll they spread out through the rice a little bit more. It'll be a lot better, a lot better. I'm going to quarter those. Do that one in thirds. Just depending on how big they are is how, how much you're going to slice them up. You know what I'm saying? These are fighting words. You guys crack me up. All right, so we got our broccoli florets. We're gonna throw them in. We're just gonna let the water, you know, really, really come out of them. We're gonna let them drip, chill. Beef's gonna get thrown in a second. Our noodles are just about done, guys. Oh yeah, they're rising to the top. Looking like we're there. Still got like three minutes, it says technically. So I'm kind of curious to see. Oh, they still have a bite. Okay. So five minutes is a good enough estimate. Alright, so let's go ahead and get our beef. Let me get that marinade off of it. Oh. Bouncing all over the spot. So I'm going to kind of drain the beef off real quick. Kind of pat it down a little bit. It'll help, you know, let it brown up a little bit more. Put that sink. 
Noodles are just about there. Sacred Blue Yoshi. Oh my God, is Drew? What's going on, Blue Yoshi? How you doing, man? Thanks for stopping by. All right, so we got that, you know, rinsed off. Let's get some, some, a little bit of sesame oil in the pan. I'm gonna wash the hands real quick. And we're gonna go ahead and get that right, that, uh, those noodles taken out in just a second. So let's get some peanut oil in. Or not peanut, sorry, sesame oil. We're gonna use sesame oil for this. We're gonna use a little peanut oil for the, the rice. All right, let's get our meat thrown in. All right, meat's down. You can hear the sizzle, looking good, smelling better. You know how we do. <laughs> you gonna get Gmo with the up dog again? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna follow this guy. Oh wait, I'm already following this guy. No, I appreciate it, brother. Thank you for stopping by again. I appreciate it very, very much. All right, let's check our noodles. Look like they're good. What the? Perfect. So I got this badass uh, colander right here, right? Put these veggies over here. So I got this colander so I can do just this. A little drainage. It holds itself up. Ah! There we go. A little drainage. Perfecto. Let that chill out for a second. We're going to run some cold water through it. Alright. We're going to get some cold water going. Put it back. Run some cold water, we're gonna stop the cooking process. Hot as hell. Alright. Alright, so our noodles are running hot are in cold water, they're completely stopped cooking. Let's go ahead and check in on our beef. Pop's coming through with another 500 biddies. Thanks, Dad. I appreciate that. Appreciate it very, very much. Use this curvy. <laughs> All right. Turn up the heat so we get a nice crust on that. Um, so we got that going. We got our, our, our burner ready up so we can make a little teriyaki sauce. Move that out the way. Veggies are chilling. So we're about to dive into this. Oh, you know what I forgot, guys? It was garlic. Let's chop a little garlic real quick. We're going to need that. That steak thick as fuck. Hey, it's, it's thick. That's slim thick. Slim thick. All right, so we're going to need some garlic. You know, you can't you can't have good food without garlic. Do a little one. So, let's go ahead and get our, our garlic minced up. Make our little incisions. All right, little slices. Now the meat's really picking up. I can hear it sizzling because I turned that heat up. All right. All right, so we got the pre-mince going. Now we're just gonna go proceed to, to get it all evened out, mince it up, thicker than a snicker. <laughs> oh, y'all crack me up, man. I love I love chopping it up with you guys. Thanks again for all y'all that's sticking around. Janelle, if you're still here, I I appreciate that raid very very much. That was very very nice of you. Like I said, all you guys that haven't given Janelle a follow or checked the girl out. Uh, go ahead and, and go ahead and do that. Do me that favor and go do that for her. Right? She's got a great stream, super fun, a lot of energy, all sorts of shit going through. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get our garlic. Put in our cup here. Our little little prep cup. We're gonna flip that steak over, guys. 
I'm going to acknowledge that in just a second, my friend. Perfect. Got a nice crust on it. Looks like we're going to cook through all the way on the stove top. Looking good, looking good. Dead element coming through with a thousand bits? Are you kidding me? Dead element. Really? My guy. Thank you very much, man. Thousand bits? That's that's crazy, man. Thank you very, 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 very much, Dead Element. You are the man, dude. Thank you. All your support, you're, you're awesome, dude. Thank you so much. I, I can't say it enough. Thank you so much. Nothing more I enjoy than getting down and cooking for you guys. Alright, we're going to let that cook through. Uh, we do need to get our little our little teriyaki sauce cracking, cooked down. So let's go ahead and do that, guys. Alright, so look, we're going to use some brown sugar, some mirin, some soy sauce. A little teriyaki. A little brown sugar. It's really quick, really simple, really easy. We're just going to kind of let it come together on the stove top. Let the sugar kind of thicken it up. You know what I'm saying? Let me turn that fan up a little bit. All right, so, real simple, guys, real simple. Drew, when Drew going to come to Aussie and cook some meals? Hey, you get me on a flight, brother, I'll come cook for your ass any day, man. I've always wanted to come to Australia. All right, so we're going to do a couple tablespoons of dark brown sugar. All right. Dark brown. Okay, next. Two tablespoons of our mirin, which is our our white rice wine vinegar type deal. All right. Two of soy sauce. Man, spilt on my cutting board. Gotta keep it clean, baby. Now we're gonna throw one one of the teriyaki in there. All right. Go ahead and mix that up. Sugar's gonna dissolve into that. It'll be a nice little sauce. We're gonna take that, we're gonna put it on a low heat, and we're gonna let the sugars kind of thicken this up. Steak's probably good. See where our steak's at? What we're going to do is we're going to grab a uh, grab another cutting board. Toss our steak down on that bad boy. Get a nice little temperature reading for us. Hot pan out the way. Get our burner off. temp reading on this bad boy I used to pray that I <laughs> that I found you shut up <laughs> oh my god Garrett I hate you <laughs> such a fucking fool oh man my boy gee it's so good all right needs a little bit more time we're gonna pop it in the oven Right into the oven she go. Another 10 degrees. That 120. Another 10. Another 10 and she'll be good to go. All right, let me clean up my little area real quick. Get some unnecessary things out the way. We're gonna go ahead and get started on our chow mein. And our, our chow mein. And our rice, guys. It'll be super, super bomb. Chop it up real quick. Why is watching Drew cook so damn satisfying? Well, I appreciate that very, very much. Thank you. Homies? All of us are homies. A family tree, man. We're a bunch of homies and homegirls, man. One big family. That's what we're trying to do here. All right, so look. We're going to get our, um, in the big one, we're going to do our noodles, right? Simple and easy. We're going to get our fried rice prepared in another pan. Let me go ahead and grab that. All right. So I guess
guess we could do both at the same time. I do need to get a fried egg. Oh man, I kind of need that in a non stick. So look, I gotta do this egg first. So let's go ahead and do our egg because I'm gonna be cooking. Uh, so look, I'm gonna be cooking the. Um, come on. I'm gonna be cooking it in a non-stick pan. Egg needs to be cooked. I'm gonna be cooking in a in a sticky stainless steel pan. I need to be cooking the egg in a non-stick pan. So I'm gonna do the egg first, we'll get it ready to go, and then we'll fold it in and then we'll start the process for the fried rice. Super simple and super easy. Uh, Kinu Moon, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome, 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 I appreciate it. Let's get a little butter out. A little butter for the eggy. All right, so we got our little sauce. Come into a boil, we're gonna let that cook down. It's gonna get rubbed onto the uh, beef after, after it's done. I'm a dishwasher in a family-owned restaurant bakery, and I kind of like watching them cook. Awesome, man. Awesome. Very, very cool, man. So you work in the industry. Drew, you should hit me up. A follow, get dank to cooking and, get, and some games. Yeah, man. Mystic, I will, brother. I absolutely will. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt, man. All right, look. Butter. I guess we can just get the chow mein cracking for now too. You can always hold it over. All right. Butter's melting down. When's the edible stream? Well, we did a little 420 stream. We haven't cooked with uh, with weed on stream. We had a little 420 Midnight Munchie episode, but there was no weed-infused food. Um, you know, it could get down to that point. We can get down to that at some point. Um, I, don't, I haven't cooked with weed. I have a lot of uh, friends from culinary school that we're doing that are veterans and things like that, and they've done a lot of cooking with, with oil and stuff like that. So if I can get my hands on some oil, get an idea of how much to use, we can do a cool little edible stream. That'd be fun. Uh, chicken nuggets. I love me some chicken nuggets. Weed pasta and weed chicken. Yeah, I've seen weed. My buddy did a lot of weed pasta. That was like his thing. That was his thing. He loved it, loved it, loved it. All right, guys. So, look, we got our, our burner on. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit of peanut oil, okay? We're going to get some garlic sweated down. That's what the recipe called for. Garlic down first. Let me get our chicken worked in there. So our egg, keep that oil up. Our egg's doing its thing. We're gonna chop that up in a minute. Show you guys how I break down my egg for my fried rice. Dude, I got dino, are you, dino nuts, bro? Come on now. You know who you're talking to? Do you know who you're talking to, man? You know I got dino nuts in the crib? I fuck with dino nuts. I fuck with dino nuts the long way. Takes me back to uh, my buddy Bobby's house, man. His mom used to always make us dino nuggets when we'd, we'd be in high school and we'd be at his crib playing video games and all sorts of nonsense, hide and go seek in the backyard, all sorts of fun shit. And uh, his mom would always make us a bit shit ton of dino nuggets and stuff to hold us over. All right, so our egg. Go ahead and break our yolky. All right, garlic's cooking up. Want it to just brown up a tad bit. Once you get nice and toasty, which it's doing. All right, let's get our chicken ready. All right. Looks like it's just about there. Yep. About another, another minute, 45 seconds or so. Eggs ready to flip. All right, that's just about done. We're gonna chop that up in a second. All right, good. 
get our uh, our chicken down. chicken. If you have a peanut allergy, then don't use peanut oil for this, clearly. Use, use something else, veggie oil, canola, whatever. Alright, let our chicken start to cook off. Alright, so let's get our egg. This is what I do for my egg. I nice, do a quick little, quick little chop it up. We can get our rice started now. Now that we got that out of the way. Our chicken's cooking in with the garlic. Our steak's about done. Steaks out, we're gonna let it rest up and chill. What we're gonna do is let it chill out. Let it do its thing. Hot pan out the way. The sauce is looking good, we're gonna let that chill. All right. Chicken's starting to cook up nicely. All right. So let's get our uh, our fried rice going. So get some sesame oil, heat it up. We're gonna get ready to drop down our uh, our veg real quick. Get that kind of sauteed up and going. Hey John, be good. 1962. Hey Johnny, be good. I love that song. Just uh, thank you very much for the follow, my man. Appreciate it. All right, so our chicken's at that point where it's pretty much almost all all cooked. We got our veg drop, pop, lock, and drop, baby. I'm gonna run a little more water through our noodles so they don't stick. All right. We're gonna saute our veg up a little bit. We go ahead and throw our egg in there as well. Pop skipping a sub to Grumpy McGee. Grumpy McGee, welcome back. Two months, appreciate it. Pop, thank you for the, the gifted sub. Welcome back to the family tree, my guy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and grab our bok choy. Our krok. We're gonna use our, our, our bottom. We're gonna throw some of that in our rice too. What we want is our our bok 
best way to wilt down a little bit. A little bit of oil. They're nice and hot. Thanks, Pops. Next, we're going to grab our rice. We got the, uh, that's boom. Oop. Sorry about that. Opened up my drawer, my camera went down. Things, uh, things kind of locked in here. All right. So scoop our our rice in. All right. So our bok choy starting to wilt. that down and in. We're going to add our noodles. Grab our chow mein noodle. Okay. We're going to take our delicious sauce we made earlier, guys. Going right in. Oh my goodness. This keeps happening. I gotta fix that. My bad, guys. I gotta fix where that thing is. Alright. My goodness. Oh, there we go. Alright. Make sure this isn't stuck anymore. Alright, so we got our spatula. Let's go ahead. Take some of our sauce. Throw a little bit in the fried rice as well. Give that a little bit of flavor. All right, where are them tongs at? It's time to get down and dirty. It's time to get down and dirty. We're going to go ahead and grab a little bit of water, some hot water, hot water. All right, we definitely need some more, more soy sauce, a little more teriyaki.
little water in there. together perfectly. Um, at this point, all I'm going to do is grab my, my fresh green scallion, sprinkle that on there, along with the rice. Okay. We're going to grab our bean sprouts out the fridge, toss that into our chow mein. Got to have some bean sprouts. One of the best parts of chow mein. Got it, got it. All right, so let's fold our scallions into our rice. Rice is done. We're gonna let that chill out on low. We're gonna get our bean sprouts tossed into our uh, chow mein real quick. Kind of get them sweated down a little bit. good. These are going to chill on low. We're going to plate up in a second. We're going to do it like a little family sauce if we got so much freaking food. Don't be a hater. <laughs> I'm being bullied worse than I was in third grade. Oh my gosh, Garrett. Knock it off. All right, guys, let's slice and dice our steak. I'm going to do it on another cutting board. I just don't want to dirty the white one up. So we're going to slice our, our, our teriyaki beef nice and thin, toss it in our sauce a little bit. It's nice and tender, man. Knife sliding through like butter. that mid-rare. You know what I'm talking about, brother? You know what I'm talking about, huh? That's what I'm talking about. Perfect mid-rare, baby. That's what I like to see, huh? All right. Let's play it up, guys. Let's get rocking. Let's move into our after show. You know what I'm saying? Already moving on to 8.30. We're on perfect time right now. Please describe taste. Sacred Holy Blue. We'll be doing a little chopping it up with Cousin Drew and Gmo after show while we eat. A little bit more interaction with you guys, all right? So we're going to plate up. We're going to move on. You guys can get all your questions and everything in, all right? You know, this is what we'll do. I'll just plate up the bowls, and we'll go grub. Do a little bit of rice and chow mein. Do like a little, you know, a little panda bowl. All right, let me grab the uh, the, the freaking towel. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We got our fried rice, our vegetable fried rice. Mmm, our veggies. God, it smells so good, guys. It smells so good. I'm all about these bowls, so you guys can tell after your last show. I love these bowls. One of my best purchases. These things are sweet. So we got our, our rice in. We toss the chow mein around real quick. All right. 
Let's get some of our, our kame noodle. Chicken. God, this smells so good, guys. All our chicken. More chicken, the merrier. All right, so we got our beef right here. What we're gonna do is, we need a daisy cam. Yo, Daisy will be in on the after show. Give me one sec. Daisy likes to Daisy likes to sit with us and chill on the after show. All right, let me just go ahead and get a my brush. All right, so I'm gonna get my brush. We're gonna take our little glaze for our teriyaki. We're gonna glaze our our beef teriyaki with our little teriyaki glaze that we made. God, it smells so good. Thanks, Kui. All right, so let's go ahead and serve some of our, our steak. How are we gonna do this? Let's do it like... Let's fan it out a little bit. All right, that that that'll look good. God, this beef. We got Gmo's bowl right there. Turn it out a little bit more. All right, wash the hands. We'll go ahead and get one more thing that I need to put on. Make it official. Where are they at? Um, all right, so we're gonna grab, we're gonna grab some sesame seeds, guys. Let me get a little of these poured out. These things make a damn mess. And we're going to top it off with some fresh sesame seeds. Can't have teriyaki chick steak or chicken without sesame seeds to make it feel authentic. Right? Okay. And then one more time with the glaze. I'm going to eat that like Goku. Hey! Embryo! Holy cow! What is going on, my guy? And then one little more glaze with our, our teriyaki here. All right. We're rocking and rolling, ladies and gentlemen. Clean this up. Here we go. What's going on, Ambrio? My guy. So there we have it, folks. So look, guys. This is what we got going on here, right? We have our delicious beef teriyaki with our chicken chow mein made from scratch and our delicious vegetable fried rice. So here's what's about to happen. For all you newcomers, for all you guys coming back to the stream, we got a little after show we're about to do. I'm about to turn on a little intermission sh uh, screen, play a little bit of music, Gmo and I are going to set up real quick, a couple minutes. Me, Gmo, and Daisy are going to chop it up with you guys. We're going to get into some question and answering. We're going to explain to you how this meal tastes. You guys can ask anything you want that we didn't get a chance to talk about during the stream. So, guys, stick around, please. We're going to set up. Give us two, three minutes to set up, and we're going to be rocking with our after show. All right, guys? So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be chopping it up with Cousin Drew and Gmo. We'll be right back with you guys in one second.
What's happening, everybody? Welcome to the uh, Chopping It Up with Cousin Drew and Gmo After Show. It's been such an exciting uh, episode so far, man. I can't believe it. We've had so many people in the chat already. Janelle, thank you so much for the raid. I think you brought like 49 people in, and we stayed at like a consistent 50 all night. Uh, chat's been super fun. I've had a great time with all you guys. I'm getting bullied a little bit. <laughs> MRM, I see you. Uh, it's been it's been tough, but you know I, I can take some blows. I can take some blows as long as I get I get fed at the end of the stream. I'm cool with it. But uh, it's just been it's been awesome to see the stream continue to grow. Every week we get new people stopping in. They come, they check out the show, they stay, they like it, they follow. We had a whole bunch of follows today. We had some new subscriptions. Thank you guys for all the support Dark. of the stream. Oh, Dark made it in. Yes, sir. Dark, just in time, my man. It's good to see you in here. Uh, so happy you could stop by. Thank you so much for coming. It's so hot in this kitchen. <laughs> I have no idea how you do this like week after week. Come on, Dave. Uh, stream after stream. It's good, everybody. It gets hot What's going in on? Here, Dave, come here. Say hi to everybody. Come here. I know, MRM. I hey, love hi. you. I Say love hi. you. I need, I can't, I need an Say Amazon. Hi. Do you see the Amazon Prime? They're doing like Pokemon and stuff like that. Oh, really? Dude, they're like doing Pokemon e emotes. What's good, everybody? Welcome to the Cousin Drew and Gmo After Show. Do you guys see the uh, the little emote on the top right of the screen for you guys? Oh, did you put it up? Or, I, not emote, but a little picture we got. It should be up. Hopefully. Oh, it's up there. So that was a surprise. How you guys huh? like our little picture up That's here, a surprise, huh? huh? How you like the little picture, little surprise I got for you? That's right. That's right. Hey. Better late than never. So look, I'm gonna go ahead and flick, take a little pick, guys, for the for the IG for That's the right. Facebook. That's right. And then uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Yeah, Dark. Thank you so much for stopping by, man. It's good to see you in here. And again, thank you everybody for stopping in, for hanging out with us, for you know just being entertained and supporting the stream. We appreciate it. Like I said, I've had so much fun with you guys in the chat. It's been it's one good. hell of a night. We've had a bunch of people Absolutely. here stopping by. Thank you for all the new follows, all the new support. Thanks, everybody, for sticking around. Absolutely. Uh, Janelle, once again, and I saw you were still in here. Thanks again so much for that raid. Mm -hmm. I, I really do appreciate Huge. it. Super, super generous. Huge. All you guys that stuck around from Janelle's uh, raid, thank you so much. Thanks for all the new follows. We got subs. We got bits coming in tonight. Thank you guys so much. Thank you bits. very, very much. Larry, you shout out for those bits, man. Say hi. Everyone he say was, hi. He was the Marshawn Lynn of bits tonight, I man. I love here. that. I know. It's just been fun. All right, G, I want you to go ahead and dig in. Uh, so, Gmo, uh, he likes a little bit of Chinese food, but he's not a big fan. He doesn't like Panda Express or like that. But as far as authentic Express. Chinese, he's a little bit iffy about. He has had my fried rice and, and um, teriyaki beef. This beef's way different than the one he had before. <sighs> But let's see how he likes the chow mein. So you know? what's, what's like the best, like should I like take a bite of everything at once? Should I individually? Um, I, if I was you, I'd take a little bit of everything individually okay. and then go ahead and start eating it together. And then I'll Fair dig enough. in with you right after. Uh, so cheers real quick, my guy. My dude. Cheers, cheers to everybody. To, cheers to everybody. Uh, thanks again for everyone stopping by. We appreciate Absolutely. it. You guys are the reason we do this. Mm. All right, so this is the chow mein nice first. ice cold Corona. That's right. Corona light. I feel like I'm in a Fast and the Furious movie right now. <laughs> Saying a prayer <laughs> on the table. All right, my guy. Tell me how it is. Hey, Pop's coming through, dropping a thousand biddies. Appreciate that. Chug your beers. Hey, man, I gotta enjoy it with the food. Wow. How's that? That's good? really so good. So you have the chow mein? Oh, yeah. Let me try that. That's nothing like Panda Express <laughs> chow mein. I'll tell you that right now. That is nothing like Panda Express chow mein. You, wow. You killed it. That's good. Wow, 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 Those wow. noodles are good. Okay. But you still got like that Chinese spice in there too. Yeah, and it's that sesame oil that you're taking. That that's toasty sesame oil really, really, really carries over. That's like the traditional like Chinese taste right there. But man, that's that's actually really good. Chicken, nice and tender. That baking soda tr uh, trick really worked. Mm. Dark, what's going on with you, man? How you been? Yeah, Dark, how's everything going? You feeling a little man? bit better, my guy? I hope everything's going well for you, my man. So you tie that rice? No, I'm trying the beef the, and then the, the rice beef now. I know, I know you're a hungry girl. We're I gonna get try to you. The beef. I gotta try this Family stuff. first, Dan. Always. Pops, the girls still watching? Or are they in bed? I know it's kind of late there now. They're probably in bed by now. Whoa. What? That the beef. Beef. Let's check it. That I was not expecting that. That's a lot of flavor. Well, it had the marinade, right? And we wow. cooked it, and then we hit it with that glaze. Wow. What glaze did you hit it with? It's a little teriyaki glaze, man. It's like a lot of teriyaki, but it's also yeah. like, right? Mm-hmm. It's a lot of teriyaki you flavor. You still got the flavor of the meat. Exactly. Like you that still meaty, taste that meat. That delicious 
tenderloin taste, but the teriyaki just complements it well. Mm. That's great. I like that. I'm well, moving on. To the I right. definitely like it more than the, the last time I made it. Mm. I bet everybody's hungry over there, man. <laughs> All right. I can't imagine. I mean, watching the stream, watching do what he does in the kitchen. I'm just thankful I get to eat this after every stream, as you guys know. But man, this must be tough for you guys. So shout out to you guys. Mm. That yeah, rice dough. Mm. <laughs> I love me some fried rice. Man, that rice dough. I can never cook rice. I don't know who said it earlier in the chat. Please but describe taste. I can never ever cook rice the right way. So the chow mein. We're looking at like. The first thing you're going to hit is the noodles were cooked, mm. cooked perfectly. The chicken's nice and tender. So you got a good bite from both. That sesame oil, that toasted sesame oil comes in really strong with the chow mein. You get that bok choy and that carrot adding a little bit more crunch. And then that green onion to add that very nice floral, oniony spice flavor. Perfect. What a description. The rice, <laughs> nice and sticky because we use that, um, that Asian mid-grain Carlos rice. Um, a lot of starch releases, so it becomes nice and sticky, like that delicious sticky Asian rice, right? And then all the veggies with that with that sesame oil, perfect amount of soy sauce. You don't want to overdo the soy sauce because it can be too salty, so I didn't go too heavy on that. Um, and then the teriyaki together, you want like a nice two to one ratio of teriyaki to soy sauce. Flavor is really nice. And then the beef, I mean, just a whole lot of teriyaki, but it still has that pungent, um, tender, like you know, meaty taste to it. So. Super, super good. This is amazing. And it's light. The food would be nice, but I just want to hang out with my Drew. I know, Al. I know. Be coming up to visit sweet, as soon sweet as Al. I can, Al. You need to come visit, man. Oh, you and all the cousins need to come out and visit, man. Yeah, Al, you should come out for an F. definitely come down here. I'm going to tell him. That'd be cool to have you here, dude. Mikey, what's going on, brother? Is that Mike Brocker? Yes, sir. What's happening, Mike? Good to see you, dude. It's good to see you in here. Holy blue. Hey, Yoshi, thank you. I appreciate that. I try, man. I do my best to entertain. Mm. Put on for you guys. He's a damn good cook. I love it. Let's see them Cousin Drew emotes in chat mm -hmm. right now, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. And all of Janelle's viewers that are still here, you can go ahead and spam them Cousin Drew emotes, them homie Janelle emotes, whatever you want to do. The hood, whatever. was it? Hood Janelle? It's one of my favorite emotes she's got up. Hood you Janelle. See the one right above mine on Yoshi's? Yeah. That's Hood Janelle. <laughs> damn. It's a sick little emote, huh? Damn. It's funny. See, we gotta get some stuff going like that. We right. gotta get like some like dope emotes. Well, once once the time comes, coming, it's coming, it's coming soon. So how you liking your little Chinese food tonight? I'm telling you, I'm not a fan of Chinese food. Anyway, you and the damn table, Gmo. I always <laughs> just let it be. I'm gonna start putting placemats out for Gmo, low key. I'm just you know, I'm like I just eat, I just do it. Mm. But I'm telling you guys, I don't like Chinese food. Chinese food for whatever reason. I just don't like the taste of it. I don't like the flavors that they, that you know so a lot of it uses. But my Chinese food experience is like Panda Express, <laughs> and I hate Panda Express. I got the worst food poisoning of my entire life on Panda Express, and I'll never go back. This is not Panda Express. <laughs> this is some real light, healthy Chinese yeah, food. This Authentic. Is nice. This is some real stuff, and this is amazing. This is this is absolutely amazing. And you guys got to recreate this because, I mean, he gives you a step-by-step. -step. You know, I go home and I try to, like, you know, like, chop up chicken the way that he does. My chopping skills have gotten a whole lot better since I started watching the stream. As you guys can see on the 420 episode when Gmo yeah, gets know, down. you know. I get down a little bit. Ooh, chongs? Mmm. Let me some chongs. So is that, like, another Chinese place? I don't know. Yeah, it's up in Monterey, though. Alex, oh, okay. Alex claimed to get food poisoning from it, but it was for sure from something else because we all eat family style. No one else got sick. We do that for him. I don't know, man. Chinese food does oh, that, though. Shit. Chinese food does that, man. It hits one person. Everyone else is cool. No. But that one person's dying. Oh, Grumpy. I cooked the ribs like you did, and it was bomb as fuck. Hell yeah, man. I did you uh, make the barbecue sauce and everything? I wish you would. Uh, if you took a picture, a picture. Yeah, I was going to say, if you took a picture, man, I'd love to post it up on the stream, brother. you got to send us a picture, man. Send we'll it to me it. on... Um, on in, in social media, you can send it to me, um, you know, my email, CousinDrew1239 at Gmail. If you got a picture, And that bro. goes for everybody. If you guys, like, recreate or just cook in general, if any of the followers or any of the subscribers cook in general, hit us up on Twitter, hit us up on Instagram, whatever. Send us a picture of it. We'll feature you guys on the stream, kind of show everybody what you can do. Absolutely. We've done it before. 
We'll keep doing it. It's just a big community, man. Like Jackie's done guys. many dishes. Max True. posted his last week. That's right. I mean, that's just what we do. We love to see you guys cook. We love to see you guys taking inspiration from whatever it is he's doing. You know, taking maybe one thing that he might do on the stream and doing that in your own life. So that's what this is all about. Yeah. This is so good, though, man. You killed it with this. What was that wine you got for Valentine's Day? That was that um, that Pinot Noir with the butterflies on the front. Here, I got a bottle, actually. Hold on, let me see. Was that the one that we had on stream? I think I've used it on stream before, but... Because we had, like, $6 bottle. No, no, Valentine's Day was different. No, no, that was different. It was um, this one. It's a Pinot Noir called the Archivist. Uh... 2013 from Monterey County. It's got that butterfly in front. It's the one my mom got. <clears throat> Jesus, I love that mom. Hey, Mystic Whirlwind says, how do you choose uh, what food to cook for people who are picky as hell? That's a good question. Because I wouldn't know. Well, first of all, you need to know what they like and what they don't like. And if it's something that they don't like, that you know how to execute, good, great. Then try winning them over with it, right? Try cooking them something they don't like in a different way. Like, for instance, Gmo and Chinese food. I, I cook this up, but it's not too crazy. It gets the job done. The flavors are on point, and he, and he enjoys it. I was excited so, I was excited for this episode, but I, I got to say, I've been a lot more excited for a lot of other episodes. So I wasn't as excited, but after eating this, this is, this is going to change my mind. Absolutely. I, and I that's all it's about. Chinese that's why I like food. to cook. I like to... Uh, I like to, um, you know, change people's opinions on things. and uh, But like I said, you need to know what I'm they really like and what that. they don't like. And if it's, it's something they really don't like, then just don't cook it. Stay away from it. Mm -hmm. Make something they do like. Mm -hmm. You know, you just got to, you got to make, you got to make the, uh, you got to make the decision. Aubrey wants to know if you do drink wine. Oh, I sure do drink wine. Hmm. But that's because I'm an adult, Aubrey. Do, huh. you not, do not drink wine. Good night, drunk D. That was Dark. Ashlyn. <laughs> Dark, I get down on chopsticks. Little Ashlyn. Man. I love me some sushi. Mm. I've been a master with chopsticks since I was like I got eight chopsticks. Years old. You want to see G use some chopsticks? I'll catch a fly with chopsticks, okay. man. No, you don't really got chopsticks right now, do you? I always got chopsticks. So I'm getting called out, man. <laughs> it ain't no thing. I grew up with these, man. You know what you do first? You sharpen them, <laughs> get those wood splinters out. Only real masters with chopsticks know that. So if you don't know that, you're a noob with the chopsticks. You need to step your chopstick yeah. game up. Come here. Swear I'm good with chopsticks, man. There you go. That's a little beef. A little beef for the girl. I swear. It ain't nothing. Get the fuck out of here, Gmo Shawnee said. Hey, so what's y'all feedback about the, uh, the little emote up here? What do you guys think about the, the Cousin Drew and, uh, and Gmo little bitmoji? We're going to be looking into making mm. some emotes for the tier 2, tier 3. And now that we've got like, more people in here, no one be afraid to hit that suggestion box at the bottom of the page. Absolutely. That is strictly there for you guys to throw suggestions at us, whatever you guys want to see. Whether it's Drew wearing a different outfit, maybe. You know, from different camera angles to different food selections to maybe a, a concept for an after show. We want to hear your guys' creative side. Maybe we can collab on some stuff. Maybe we can, you know, just start doing some stuff. Absolutely, for you guys. guys. That Whatever. suggestion box at the bottom, right under the bit leaderboard, is for you guys. Leave any suggestions that you guys may want. Absolutely, I'm here for you guys. Super important to do what you guys want. So I'm here for you guys, right? I love doing what I like, like cooking my myself recipes and things that I like to try. But the other half is all you guys, right? We can switch off episodes, whatever it is. Um, so please let me know. Like last week, we did chicken and dumplings. That's something Dark wanted me to cook. And I told him I'd get to it because I had a couple things that I had to do. And we did them. And then we jumped into chicken and dumplings last week. I'm glad so, you made it last week too, Dark. You know what I'm saying? That was for you, dude. That was for you. Yeah, that's Daisy Grill. How was that beef, girl? You like it? Mm. Yeah. Who challenged me to do chopsticks? Are you guys watching this? <laughs> Who challenged me with the chops? I'm doing this like it's just nothing. I've been doing this my whole life. I, have to, I, might, I have, might have to make that, uh, that switch back, though. <laughs> Can't eat as much. Nightbot's on it tonight. Is he banning people? Well, thank you, Yoshi. That's my baby. I've had her since she was two months. Since she was the size of her head. Huh. High five. I thought you were talking about me. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, MRM? What are you doing, bro? What do you got going on up in Aussie, man? What's good with you, MRM? 
Where's he at? He's still in Aussie, he said. Really? I thought you were in the States. Where you at? He said, when are you going to cook for me in Aussie? Man, that guy's international. You can never pin him down. I did, and I'm impressed. All right, Dark, that's what I like to hear. Oh, I'm my in the mans. States now? Okay, okay, my okay. Mans. Okay, 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 okay. He in the States, but he don't want to come visit the boys. What's up with that, dude? When are you coming to Cali? Yeah, what's up oh. with that? I'm going back to Aussie in a couple weeks. Make a little trip over to Cali, dog. Come grab a plate. I got nothing but time for you, dude. My dad said Nightbot deleted all my messages. <laughs> Who said that? My dad. <laughs> that was funny. He said Nightbot's a LB, a little bitch. <laughs> uh, I Cali, think, I maybe think, in the fall? Okay, okay. I think Nightbot's got everybody at least like two or three times. I remember he banned me for 600 seconds. I was like, yo, do you know who I am? <laughs> you can't ban the chat MVP for 600 seconds. Yeah. No, you know, Nightbot's a little picky. Yeah. Mm. That just keeps getting better. Hey, but like I said, thank you guys so much for being here. From the bottom of my heart, man. You guys make this stream so much fun. If we were just sitting here talking to ourselves, it wouldn't be nearly as fun as it is just sitting here chopping up with you guys. Thank you to everyone who's interactive in the chat. We have so much fun with you guys. If you guys are ever hesitating about being interactive in the chat, just come join in, say what's up, say hi, I love the stream. You know, don't be afraid to say hi. Don't be, don't be shy. Don't be anything like that. You know, we're always here for you guys. We're always, you know, growing to the family. We love meeting you guys and seeing what you guys do. Absolutely. Any questions you guys have that, you know, I, like I said, I didn't get to in the stream and you want to ask now, I'll go right ahead. Anything. Uh, we're already pushing up to 9 o'clock, so we're going to be ending that, that after show. Mm -hmm. Just a couple minutes, chopping up with you guys a little bit longer. But like he said, you know, thank you so much, guys. Thank you for the support as the channel continues to grow. We're back here every Tuesday and Thursday. This is what we do. 7 p.m. I look forward to it every single week, guys. Um, and I, I just can't thank you guys enough, seriously. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Never hesitate to reach out. Mm -hmm. We get requests all, all day long. You know, I got messages from people who are going through some hard times. Stop them and say, hey, your channel makes my day better. We chop it up. You know, just if you guys ever need anything. Advice on cooking, advice on life. If you guys mm -hmm. are going through problems and you need someone there for you, absolutely. That's why we're that's here, what guys. We're here for. If you guys need someone to pray for you, I mean, we're here for anything that you guys have. Absolutely, man. we're a community and we're here together. That's absolutely, what it's all about. And, you know, that's all it's about. It's all about each other. It's not just about the cooking stream. It's about you guys, man. Yeah. It's about you know just everybody being there for each hey, other. Hey, what's up, Jay Ross, the boss? Oh, Jay Ross, what's going on, dog? Purple Magic Johnson. Yeah. What's happening, man? been a long time since i've seen you dude i miss you yeah me I miss too, you man. and all your avocado antics dude <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. avocado antics you guys are awesome keep on inspiring people well i mean you know what life's too short dog you got to spend it with the people you love the most That's exactly people that are about. most important to you every day there's a tragedy around the world multiple tragedies right especially in today's world seriously man we live in a in a life where you can't even speak your own opinion you can't you know, you can't do much nowadays without being judged or being, you know, accused of something. So it's nice to kind of escape out of this reality that we live in and be able to come into a place where everyone's just so happy. Everyone's got good vibes. Everyone's vibing off each other, you know, loving each other. And that's what we're here for. I, I, you know, this is like this is like my favorite thing. I look forward to this every single week, spending this time with you. This is my escape. You know, after talking to people all day at work and doing my thing, I love being able to come here and chop it up with each and every one of you guys, all you newcomers. Same. You know, it's just we keep the community growing, and it's just a community of positivity. You know what I'm saying? It's amazing. It's Jeez, truly, so truly amazing. So we're going on 902, guys. We're gonna go ahead and get out of here. We're gonna finish up our food, bury ourselves into a little bit of Mary Jane. You know what I'm saying? Finish up these brewskis, get some games in, and we're gonna be back here. Tuesday night, guys, 7 p.m. for episode 34 already. Can you believe that shit, dog? Stay tuned, because I'm going to do my best to see if I can talk to him to, like, maybe a Saturday night episode. We'll see what happens, guys. We'll so see what happens. I'm going to see what I can do, but you guys just stay posted. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram. Stay up with all the updates, because we're always thinking about things. We're always staying on our toes, trying to keep you guys Absolutely. on your toes. So... Just, you know, keep up with us. Yep. Man. Follow the YouTube, Cousin Drew That's with the right. Nine. That's Subscribe right. to the channel. Every episode's uploaded by midnight tonight, tomorrow morning. Ready to rock for you guys that weren't able to catch the entire show. Um, show some love. Show some some support. All my subs in chat. Let me see them Cousin Drew emotes. Good night, everybody. We One love you time. all. I'm going to go ahead and play that 
that new song that Walla Beats, my boy Blake, Walla made Beats. for the new intro video that's being worked on Killed as it. we speak. Killed I'm going to go ahead and play that with our after screen. You guys have a wonderful night and take care. I love each and every one of you guys. We will be seeing you guys. Oh, and check in for the gaming streams, guys. I will be on off and on until Tuesday with the gaming streams. And keep your eye out for Saturday night. Wink, wink. Thank you very much for the new follow. I appreciate it greatly. Have a wonderful night, guys. Love you all.